Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 128, append record ID to query string. In my last tip, I looked at using the append attribute value to query string options so that we can display the case number of the case we just created. That works great for simple columns associated to the record we just created. But what if we wanted something a bit more complex, like the email address of the contact that created the case? Since this isn't an attribute on the record that was just created, but instead on a related record, can we still somehow do that? The good news is that we can, using the append record ID to query string settings. The settings here are simple. There's a checkbox to enable the functionality and the record ID query string parameter name column that allows us to specify what the name of the query string parameter would be. In this case, we could do something like created case ID. Now, when the case is submitted, we're redirected to a page where the query string includes the ID of the newly created case. We can then use Liquid to get the email address of the primary contact of the case by using the entity's object with the ID of the case and then using the primary contact relationship to get the email. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 128 on append record ID to query string useful.